Welcome to Resellers, Retailers, and Road Trips. We are about to embark on a journey starting in Georgia, leading to other parts of the country to learn about some of your favorite sneaker shops, boutiques, resellers, and more. I welcome you to tune in and join me on this ride because I might end up in a city near you. All right, guys. So, man, we are on episode two of Resellers, Retailers, and Road Trips. And today we are in Smyrna, Georgia at Aconic 600 to pull up on a good friend of mine, Austin Woods. Let's get straight into it, man. Let's get it. Right. It's been a minute, you know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. It's been a long time coming since I've been up. My first time up here, I've been delaying my guy, and I'm happy I delayed because I get to do it on a very special episode. Of course. Episode two of Resellers, Retailers, and Road Trips. We're traveling all throughout Georgia, then later on we're going to go out to different parts of different states in the South and possibly worldwide, you know, just depending on what it is, but I wanted to come to your store, show some love support. You've been showing me support. Pop's been showing me support for many years now, and uh, I want to, you know, give a little introduction on your store, so let us know. That's dope, man. My name is Austin Woods. I'm the owner of Aconic 600 over here in Smyrna, Georgia, 600 Floyd Drive. I got my own brand. I got hype stuff. I got vintage shoes. I got it all, man. So how long y'all been in, like, you know, been doing this for? Because it's been, like, about a year now? Two about months? a year and about two months. Yeah, everything. two months. So what made this happen? Because, I mean, back when I first met you, you guys were doing YouTube. We were at all the events together, you know, you and your dad. What made that transitional change from let's start doing the shop thing, you know? Well, actually, I was a pole vaulter, so I was on a full ride in college, and when COVID hit, I was in my senior year, about two feet from, like, being a classified You were a pole vault? Yeah. Sticking the stick in yeah, and jumping like, over you the... Know, legit. I you was... never told me nothing about that. <laughs> yeah. I legit was a pole vaulter. So I, I was in my senior year, two feet away from going pro, and then COVID shut it up, so I couldn't do anything about it. Then I graduated, so I couldn't go back. So yeah. I had a sports studies degree and a minor in business, and they told me to get a job in the middle of a panoramic. Just like we can't help you at this point. Yeah. Wow. So then, I mean, what made you make the decision to actually have your, this, you know, your own store? Was it the fact that you were already into shoes? This is I gotta give props to this guy right here, man. This man right here, man. This is <laughs> on IG generational hype beats. This guy has. I just feel like you the perfect dad for this type of thing, man. These guys work together hand in hand. This is like they're like best friends, father and son. And I mean, they support one another. He pops for supports his son. Son supports his pops and. They've always just stuck together in this whole process. So seeing this is something dope. Can we you all... just show them the footwork real quick? I'm sorry. You got like you, you, you. I mean, look, it speaks for itself, man. You know. So go ahead. What you about it to say? It is Tuesday. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know we've been we've been in this culture for a long time, man. I I've definitely been in this culture for a long time. I've been buying sneakers. You know, I'm 48, at least 40. 40 years of my life I've been buying sneakers, you know, so it was just a natural progression of, you know, going from us getting into kicks together because, you know, I used to buy him whatever he wanted to wear. Like, I yeah. wouldn't force Jordans on him or force whatever, you know, if he wanted Heelys, I would buy him Heelys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those are all Heelys. But, <laughs> you know, but once he started really tapping in with the culture like that, then it was like, okay, well, let's do it together. So this is kind of a natural progression of all of that, like all of the YouTube stuff, all of the sneaker shows going, you know, meeting so many people in the Atlanta community, you know, and the, and the opportunity was there, you know, we had the building. So what, at one point, cause like from what you're speaking on, like you never, you never like let go mm -hmm. of that, the, you know, the sneaker hunt, like you always nah. been, it's always been nah. a thing. When did you see Austin start making that like attention going from toys to kicks, I guess, you know, or, or maybe PS2? Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. school. Middle school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the Aunt Pearls okay. around that yeah, era. Kitty, the uh, Kitty uh, Fours. Yeah. 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 I had those and yeah. then I had, I had the whole pack. I had the Kobe's, the LeBron's and the KD's. That wow. Year. Yeah, that's, that's the first time I really noticed him actually online, like trying to get the shoe. I was like, okay. okay. Yeah, no, okay. those, were the, those were the days. That's back when Nike basketball was winning, like, yeah. strong. They've been trying to get that back, but they got a little success here and there, but, like, nothing's like nah. the KD4, the uh, the LeBron 9, the, the all LeBron star, 8. The All-Star KD. The All-Star, the whole All-Star package. Big Bang, LeBron. LeBron's, the 9s, I think. Yeah, yep, yep. The big, yeah, yeah, the LeBron 9, Big Bangs. That was, like I said, that whole entire All-Star was just crazy. Phone posits, it oh, just yeah. was a big moment. I had a pair of pink phones in high school. So like, let me know like a good representation of your store. Like, how'd you, you know, is it based upon you, based upon, what, what do you, how'd you pick like what you wanted your store to represent? So pretty much I wanted it to be a little bit of everything. I didn't want to be just one thing because I felt like that's, you know, other people's realms. Like I wanted to be 
suitable for everybody because not everybody can just you know throw on a vintage fit and it looks good for them they want to have something for to going out tonight so you know i have hype beast stuff i have vintage it's like all this right here is on my hype beast so supreme travis scott babe anti-soul social so i have outerwear and okay. t-shirt version so i you know i carry a lot of different things to accommodate for a lot of different people so so, so right here is the hype that's the vintage yep you got some women's stuff on women's here. wear because i want you know not I'm not a lot of stores actually you know cater to cater to women yeah. especially like you know the hype beast Store, they, they they think that all women want to wear just wear like a t-shirt cargo that's it yeah. like some some women actually come in here and want to buy dresses so i have my own okay. dresses and stuff like that that i sell you said like independent brands pretty much yeah lo local brands that are like I, that i know that i i trust and I, okay. they're very unique like they all have different some stuff. sample in there don't yeah you? that's what I'm, we're waiting <laughs> on it man <laughs> and then some retail wear stuff so like pants jeans cargo stuff like that so definitely like he has a wide variety of things from hype beast to the benches, the ladies, and then even that simple stuff. You want to come get that fit before the club. You know, it is what it is. Now, can you just tell them the address real quick too? 600 Floyd Drive, Smyrna, Georgia, 30082. Now, I noticed that 600 is in your name, Aconic, Austin. Can you explain that? <laughs> so actually, the name, the, the story behind the name was I had a whole list when I was making the store. So I had about two weeks to play with on what I wanted the name to be. So I had over a hundred names and then I came up across the name Iconic. And I was like, we could do that. So I would have like a mural of everybody who was iconic in my, like at the at my point in time. So like Nipsey, Kobe, LeBron, you know, and I was gonna have a, a painter come and draw it on the, the front of the building. I threw the idea to my mom. She's like, that's dumb. Wow. <laughs> she, was, she was like, because it's not about you. Yeah, exactly not. Nah. You know, I and so I was like, okay, well, you know, let's slap the A in front of it since my name's Austin and we live in Atlanta. So in case you don't want it to be just Austin, it could be towards whatever you want it to be. Nah, nah, definitely. So I get you. I get and then you. the dot is so it can stand alone. And nah, I definitely not think about like, yeah, salute the moms on that. Cause like at the end of time, we, we always look to the icons of people that made us, you know, want to do what we wanted to do. But at some point we will become. Exactly. That's why I did it. Else. Because we, we're going to be our own icons. Exactly. In a, in a so, way. you know, I definitely agree. And then 600 for the street for it, right? Yep. So salute to that. So if another store pops off, it might be iconic something else. It might be, who knows? 700, 450. Yeah. <laughs> So also, I don't want to forget because we have the hype, we have the vintage, the ladies, the locals, and then the uh, retail stuff, but we have your own brand as well. Yeah. Can you tell them a little bit about yeah. this? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of what I got over here. So I, I carry like shorts, shirts, t-shirts. Some of this stuff is online and some of this stuff isn't. So I'll show you. I can tell keeping up with online stuff is just tough because it it's is. constant in and out. Like So this is like my one year anniversary t-shirt with me and my dad. Okay, that's nice. I ain't gonna lie, the spray paint effect. Yeah, this. We've been trying to get that down right ourselves. I might have to grab that one today though, for sure. That's that. So what's the name? I see real ones. Is that the name of the actual brand or is it? Nah, that's like some stuff that I like. Is that like a collection? Yeah, like a collection, Okay, so in a way. A real one collection. So the actual brand of this stuff is just Aconic? Yeah, it's just Aconic, but I carry most of it on Champion, actually. Okay. Loose, yeah, champion. You can't go wrong with that. You can't. You got some hoodies back here as well. That's my peace, love, and iconic. So the back of it is uh, really dope. And then I have mental health matters design as well. Okay. This is my secondary logo that I carry, so it has my head in it. Oh wow! So <laughs> check that out. Check that out. Cool, cool. Also, if you don't mind, like, let me know as far as the shop, like, what about this store? you feel like makes you different from the rest of them out here. Oh. A lot of them popping up, you know, um, and it's good. Like, what's good, we're starting to get that type of community going on with different stores. I'm pretty sure you are meeting a lot of them and becoming friends in that community. Yeah, like, no. It, what separates what separates y'all from, from the rest? So I feel like the majority of the resale shops in the Atlanta area are sneaker stores that carry a little bit of clothing, clothing okay. or height. I feel like we're more of a clothing store that carries a couple of shoes, a, a little bit of sneakers. I mean, we have a large variety of shoes, but we don't, you know, if you're looking for size runs and you know, yeah. we're gonna have what you see at all times. We're gonna definitely get over there too and you, check out the You know what I'm kids. saying? But you know, this, this was basically an ex, extension of our closets okay you know that was the idea you know so it's like my style and his style is totally different i got old man style you know what yeah. i'm saying his they don't match nowadays i have to match stuff I'm, and, and i'm in the middle of that i'm in the middle like i gotta throw like a little bit like because i'll be wearing stuff like man you too matchy i'm like bro i'm just used to like a little yeah right you know right it just makes sense and and i don't i don't knock nobody's you know fashion sense you know yeah. what i'm saying because i like an individuality when it comes to fashion, but I feel like we can provide that. And even looking at like the shoes, I don't see like doubles lined up, like 
a, you know, five yeah. Jordan one pollens. I see. Yeah. Oh, that's you know, which we have. We multiples. have. We have multiples. We just, just but there's, okay. there's no we, reason to put all of that. But see, that's you. that's another reason we address everybody at the wall and we tell everything we have in stock. Okay. So I see I have a lot of stuff like from the vintage and the clothing and the shoes. Like where are you mainly getting a lot of this inventory at? Because I met like I met Jiwan, he does a lot of vintage, he goes thrifting. Are you thrifting? Are you going online with cops? Are you you got some plugs? Like you know, <laughs> it's a little bit of everything, man. We so I have people who bring in stuff, so I'll buy it as well. But I'll go thrift and I'll go out of the state and I'll go mm, thrift at places over there. You know, right now I I like to go like just outside of it. Georgia because I feel like I want to get different stuff that not a lot of people exactly. see. So you know, I, and I, there's like we live on three thrift spots on the street, so I, we hit those every day. Okay. And what I've picked up from previous, not even just like the previous show, but a lot of other stores. Are you getting mainly from other customers? Or are you going out and getting it? Because I know a lot of people that get like they get a lot of their stuff from the customers coming. Yeah, I'm about to say mainly our customers now bring in a lot of stuff and we buy from them. But if we want to hit retail, it's obviously going to be better yeah. for us so we can get better Straight. prices to other people. People. And you know, but sneakers always give us a walk in the hell. So as far as like what your you know your pricing and whatnot, do you feel like it's at the average above below? Because we're we're um, not that far from the city. I tr I try to be fair with people. So if I get it for a price, I obviously have to make my price as well. That's what some people don't understand when you try to sell to a store. Exactly. They, you know, like we're not going to base it off of StockX prices. We're trying to buy from you. We have to make it a profit as well. But if we get it for a good price, I don't mind giving, you know, I have retail Fridays every day, every Friday now. So I'll give a shoe away for retail. We just started that like, um, like last last month. Yeah, we I gave away like three Jordan 4 Lightnings. I gave away... Uh, two pair of dunks, the championship red for retail. It's been crazy. Like, Pete, the lines that I've Retail Fridays, pull up, man, hey. get your shoes for retail. You feel me? You didn't hear it from me, but you might have <laughs> heard it from me. All right, guys, so we're over on the shoe side, one of my favorite sides, you know what I'm saying? The thing that brings everybody in the world together. You got this in the size right now? Mike. Nine. Right. I was just trying to play with the TikTok you said earlier. Now you keep asking you, are you sure you got this in the size now? Nah, I got them in the nine, bro. I okay, never mind. I, I can't. I already got one, so unfortunately, I can't help you there. But there is some things I am spotting that we're gonna look at a little bit later. So uh, just stay tuned for the rest of the video to see what we're gonna get. But we got a lot of Jordans here. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jordans. I see some Nikes. I see some uh, some, was some some dunks over here. What like? What are you like? What are you going after? Like, are you going after because uh, the dunks are hype right now? Yeah, right now everybody wants ones, dunks, and fours. And ones, dunks, slides. and fours. And easy That's slides. what I get asked for the most: is easy slides, dunks, ones, and fours. Is there anything like here that, in like in general, with us as being collectors in clothing and in shoes? I asked this before, and I asked, if, you know, access to you. Like, is it get hard selling this stuff when you know, like, um, you know, now as you own a store, you got to balance. Like, is it for the store? Or is it for me? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it gets hard, but at, at the end of the day, if you know, if it makes the customer happy. What? shoe right now that's in our side that you're looking at it's like you, you when you look at it every day you smile at it <laughs> i might can help i actually like these i might can help like and get I'm this not... off your brain you know what i'm saying like if i might like, can <laughs> i might can help get this rid of you know rid of you so you don't have to go through that turmoil but, yeah, I, but I like the color orange too just like you do which exactly. is funny but I, I feel like those are like really yeah, slept on you know it's just so much that goes on with that shoe that's like I wanted the OG colorway the the blue and red one the, OG the blue that. red and uh, yellow yep, yeah, yeah that's my favorite one yeah. I, I still want it that. was like the sneaker of the year in 2000 and I want to say 18 19 like one like the top shoes out? out there no no the orange ones yeah Ooh, that's another one that's a deaf that see this and one, I need one of this one, one we we definitely have in our size and I keep it in the back and I'm scared to tell people that's an eight and a half yeah because every time I like I babes just go crazy this reminds me of like soldier boy back in exactly 08, you know, I got me some bathing nate. Christmas coming up I have to you know pull that pull that yeah. outfit out hey you gotta get the you gotta get the whole bathing eight and crazy. all that you just, got some bait back there too I do I just got a, a, a t-shirt from versus ATL. It was a crazy piece. Have you uh like thought about collabing with like with verses and stuff like that? Because I mean, Leo and them. We, great we've been talking about a lot of different things. There's a lot of a lot of different stories that we're, we're collabing with. It's not like I'm pretty sure the answer is yes, but like when it comes to the other stores, is it mainly is it love? No, it's always love. It's love from Trust me, it's always love. Hey, you see that? You see that? It's versus ATL right there. Definitely a great store. I always tell the story of me and Leo. <clears throat> like we go way back. He opened my first. He opened my bank account. When I met Leo, he was in Wells Fargo. Right. So it's, 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 it's just weird how things are just, you know, turn around now. Is there anything in the store that you won't get rid of? No, everything for sale. That TV, the TV's for sale too? <laughs> I mean, 
He'd be paying price. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to give me another one. There was one, there was one shoe that I had in the store that was not for sale. When we first opened my Chicago off whites, I had it was that. just there for display. Yeah, it was just there for display. teaser. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you know, throw something in, something that people want to see, but not. Nah. So I asked a little bit about you guys earlier over there, but like, I would like to hear like some of you, you know, where like you guys' relationship as far as like businesses, because people tend to say a lot of the times, like it's hard to run a business with family. How has that been? It's hard on him. <laughs> I hate this man. It's hard. Because I mean, because like, I hate cause like see, from, I, I, I did stuff in the past with my with my older brother. So I know like this is a business person, but then he yeah. might turn the dad switch on you eventually. Yeah, <laughs> it, the dad switch comes on every every now and then. Like earlier today, he was he was in the back cleaning up. He's like, I'm cleaning up after your ass. I was like, oh, oh man. man, here we go. <laughs> so I'm a coach. I, I was a high school coach for, you know, 15 years. So he's used to being coached. So that that dynamic of constructive criticism should be okay with him at this yeah, point, okay. in my eyes, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's a lot that he has to learn. Uh, it's a lot that he's already learned. And you well, know, can you, what, what kind of coach, by the way? Football and track. Okay, I'm so he curious how, so how that, remember, remember I was pole vaulting? Yeah. Me and him learned at the same time. He okay. was a coach and I, I was, was curious how that, so where did that interest come from? Like. Um, my coach wanted points. Yeah. My high school track coach actually needed points and I had just strained my hamstring so I could only run straight. So you was doing like football or something already? Or yeah. And yes. I was doing, it was, I started my junior year. I was doing football still. I mean, I did football. I went to college for football and I trade and I tra like okay. transitioned from That's what I'm saying. Okay. Track. Wow. So when he came to you with the pole vaulting, were you like, like what? Or was it? Yeah, like I was like. I'm afraid of heights, coach. Yeah. <laughs> like, I ain't doing that. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I, I don't think I've ever met anybody that's done that. So we went from that to, I mean, I've had at least seven athletes, state finalists. We went down and did a, a three-day clinic in Worth County, like in the middle of nowhere. And three of their vaulters made it to state off of a three-day camp. So like learning, like, like, like learning wow. the sport like, start from brand new, never touched the They probably jumped for like two months total and made it a state. Yeah. Not to like even knock, not even like the not, is it, is it mainly the speed or is it the accuracy? Oh, it's a lot, it's like, a what's lot. The, it's, I know it's a lot more. Like, it's it's, it's speed and strength. Okay. Speed, strength. You gotta be able to dig into it and hold or the. So not to go too deep into it. Yeah, I'm just curious myself. Sorry I, guys. I, when you think of it, you're thinking that they're doing this motion, right? Like they're pulling themselves up, but they're yeah. not. They're pushing it's like that pole up in a way. They needed that that bend, and that's what to, makes that's what creates need the, the bend. bend to, okay, so you have to have strong shoulders, and yeah. you have to have speed in order to create the energy okay. to make that happen. I got you. If you get too much of a bend, you can go straight, or you can go straight up. So you you know you yeah. have to have the perfect bend so you can go up kinda and like, straight. Kind of like a backflip when you, have, in a you way, can't yes. just yeah. do it straight. You got to kind of force in a certain direction to get that. So we did a little bit of a run down the store. I want to look through. I want to see some of the dope pieces you got. Some of your favorite pieces. Feel free to let me know. Like I'll break down your favorite pieces through each section. Pops, if you want to point out anything, let me know as well. We can go through here. So this is my favorite piece in here. So I've far. seen this one before. This one's dope. Like when you throw that, that it's like 3M. When you throw that that light on it, it goes. Oh, it's just 3M. Yeah. yeah. I know it's the glitter. But I can already can see it right now. Mm -hmm. So some Let's of your favorite. Is this a one? Is this a one that uh I can? Yeah, because yeah, when you you're you know it's just diamonds on your dancing. Crazy. Yeah. So is this something that's hard to get rid of right here? Nah, yes I, I feel like I feel like once you start doing this, like everything's obtainable. Again. Yeah, you can. I, that's what that's my mindset. Like it, it, it'll come back if it if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Now, where the issue is, of course, we got some more hype. But the issue, I think, is the vintage. Oh, yeah. that's, that, where, that's where I know I I have, I've sold some stuff that I want to get back. Yeah. This of one course, is my Supreme, second. I, yeah, this I like this. Dope. I actually like this drop. I actually like this one a lot. I brought this one to SneakerCon, and I'm surprised it didn't sell. It was crazy. How much is that in that one? Oh, under market, 400. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice piece right here. Extra small. Yeah, that's the only reason why small? I didn't smoke. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's the only reason why I hadn't sold because it was it was one size too too big, too small. This one, this one. cactus plant hoodie. Yeah, this one. This piece is crazy. Have you ever felt this? I feel how heavy it is. It's, nah, it's like two hoodies in one. For real? Literally, yeah. <laughs> this is. Yeah, this That's is the heaviest weight. jack the hoodie I've ever. Smash is good with those over there too. <laughs> Are you trying to pull it out? <laughs> he's, a, he's messing he's, with he's me. A sales, he's a salesman. <laughs> he's messing with me, man. Literally, he, you know, that he knows what he's doing. I'm just saying it. And he heard so me perfect. say I like the match, so he like. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's nice. Nice though. That's BCG. It is heavy. 
Yeah, but you know Stolly? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. That's yeah. right, right. That's his brand. This is, uh, he used to be with Rick. You still with yeah. Ross? Yeah. yeah. Got this Jack. Yeah, that one's tough, too. That one's 3M all over. Even the black? Yeah, no, no. Oh, this is Splash Park? Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Splash Park. So, we're in the vintage section. I know this can get tough, because, like, these are pieces you can't go back and really get. You have mm. to go find it or, help me, somebody help, you know, yeah, on Twitter. Nah. Like, I need it. Like, so. Uh, yeah, because I sold a, a 95 Howard Homecoming tee. It was one wow. of my, it was one of, it was a crazy piece. I, I wanted to keep it so bad, but. The person paid a good price for it. I mean, I, I know I can get it back, but it had to take some research. But right now, Bob, the Bob, it has to be the Bob. I actually got this one from Leo a long time ago. For real? Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't going I'm not it was lying. Just, it I'm was not, just too big for me. I'm not lying when I say this. I swear, I think I remember seeing this one in his. Was this in the back room? Had to be 92. Okay, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I know that uh, my man uh, Eddie had pointed out too. This is some. What was it at? That one. Well, even this one. Both of these. This one being that they just changed the uh, the logo recently. The Redskins yep. no longer. Uh, and of course, the St. Louis Rams. This one's tough. Yeah, yeah. They, they went from L.A. to St. Louis and back to L.A. now. So that's crazy. Yeah, definitely a good time though. They got that. I think they won it with Kurt Warner. I want to say that was back in the day when I was growing up. Yeah, St. Louis got that. We got the women wear. I'm, I'm not gonna ask you to try any of this on, okay. but. I got, a, I, got a, I got a bait dress. Ooh, ladies. It's a little different. You wanna get your hype beats on? It's a little different. I carry a lot of Playboy, I, uh, my own dresses as well. Like some of this is actually my dress. You made it? Oh, wow. See, you smart. You guys are smart. <laughs> so, of course, yeah. So, this is the, so, you told me this is a DJ from uh, Lil Wayne. DJ Scoop Dude. Yep. This so, is uh, Bread Over Bed. It's his. It's branding here. And uh, what we try to do with the local brands and with, you know, the the smaller guys is get something that's a little outside of just Buddy and them clothing type, you know, yeah. slapping a logo on a thing, you know, it's he's got embroidery process. on yeah. here or he's got, you tackle know, twill. tackle twill patches or, yeah, that's, you know, that's hard to do right now. When it comes to Jay Reed, he's got a really high quality yeah. shirt with, you know, that going on. So yeah. But yeah. this yeah. right here, this tough. Covenant is, this guy is one of the most creative young people I've ever met. Front and back. Um, it's full embroidery. It's temperature activated. So as you apply heat to this, like if you leave this in your car mm -hmm. in a, on a summer day, it's going to be bright white. Yeah. It'll change you know? color. It'll, this right now is kind of cold in here. But yeah. So but yeah, yeah. Some stuff right Amazing there. stuff. And like I said, this is the, the retail section where pretty much just some typical stuff. You need some jeans, something to rock on to get to the club. He's actually rocking, I'm wearing these right now. He's actually rocking those right now. Yep. Real nice. And because fit. people come in here and they be like, you know, I want a whole fit. I don't, you know, I, I just don't want just shoes. I yeah. want everything. I want, you know, I'm going out in like an hour. What, what can you make for me? Or yeah. I'm, I have to go to this wedding or I have to go to, you know. Cargos, different... you can never go wrong with cargos. Yeah, no, never, never. So there's some pieces in here. Vape, of course. What size are these? These are 13. 13? These are 13, but I have an eight and a half in the back. Yeah, you don't have to keep saying it, Austin. You're trying to, <laughs> y'all are working together, man. We keep trying to, we're trying to be trying to shake, man. You notice the eight and a half? These right here. Oh, gosh. I got those. You can't get me on that. I'm about to say. <laughs> That's my personal pair, actually. For real, so, those? 350s. What do you feel about 350s? Because 350s for us are like either people come in and they love it or they're just like, damn, done. I don't have a problem with them. My, my, my issue with the 350 was just the overdoing of it. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like they were just doing they and they still do it a lot. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. You know, I love the shoe. It's comfortable. I'll tell you this. Like back in the day, I would definitely say I couldn't rock it. But with the type of jeans we're wearing now, it's easier to rock. That's been the thing with a lot of stuff, even like with basketball shoes, like yeah. a, a LeBron one or two back when it came out originally, I couldn't wear it in like high school or middle school because it just did, the pants we were wearing were big, it was swallowing the shoe. We were wearing Air Forces with them tucked in right, and stuff, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. But now with that tapered look, exactly. <laughs> now with that tapered, tapered look and the pants, <laughs> the pants sit. You can hey, bro. You know you was leaning with it right with it. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. But the tapered look is, it, it allows us to have a way wider variety. Cause like, even like now, like, like Ultra Boost still looks decent, but like, it's I would have- We used to pay so much money for Ultra Boost. Yeah. So we we did really good with the chocolate milks. I know that there's not a whole lot of I like hype on them. I wish that they would have did extended sizes on this one. And 
instead of I making like everything else the mid. Yeah, I don't. The mid looks weird. You have to wear. But pants I still. But I still uh, like you have the to wear mid. Pants with, yeah, that's the only way. Oh, I look crazy. Yeah. And you remember this? You remember yeah. the hype around this? Yes, place? yes, yes. Something and then crazy. this one right here, you saw this 2008 pair of dunks. Yeah, these are the push heads. I have OG all of them, so I've got the replacement laces. That's a crazy shoe. That's a crazy shoe. Yeah. And I have a steal on that. I got it for 500 bucks right now. People, what happened with dunks is dunks has been doing what they've been doing forever, and then people slowly caught light of it, and then that was it. This like, is a shoe that a real dunk head is gonna want. Like this is not the new school people coming in. They want, you know, the whole theme process of sneakers really came from the dunk like the themes that the name the SB. yeah the sb specifically like mm -hmm. the whole name of things calling things shattered backboard yep. like jordan when them shoes were dropping they weren't giving them that, that back then it wasn't like no them. it was like no. those are jordan 11 playoffs those are the jordan 13 whatever the names came later on i feel like the dunk really emphasized like certain theme and names yeah. with shoes and that kind of just trickled down to everywhere else yep and the colors exactly crazy with the colors yeah, exactly sure. so we got a good look at the shop you know what i'm saying i think i'm gonna be looking around and i'm gonna cop some things we're gonna see y'all what we get you know at the end i gotta get a couple of items here because they trying to sell me and they, they got me they got me So I've made my decision, and it's funny that when Pops was showing this right here, that 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 one that one hoodie is no longer here, right? Because Eddie, one of my homeboys, ended up buying it. See, I told you he knew what he was doing. It's not here no more. That hoodie, that orange one we were showing, it's gone. But I'm gonna cop these today, bro. I was looking at these. I went and I said, "What size is this?" And I said, "It's your size." And I was like, "I gotta get these then." Like I've been wanting this the orange, the burgundy. Can't go wrong with it. The hoodie would have matched perfect. Eddie took it because he he knew that like, if he didn't get it, I, he was I was gonna get it. So he already saw it. Pops, they good. He was quick with it. He was, yeah. like, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna grab this. I'm yeah. back. He's like, quick. <laughs> I'm like, bro. He did he did it and dipped on me like literally. He's he like, I'm not like, letting Tony get eight. I told yeah, him, I, I see you later, bro. Walked out. I'm like, wow, like it's all good, Eddie. You know, I'm happy you came through. Show some love. We're gonna pick this up. I'm gonna pick up one of the hats. I got you for sure. Black on white ones. Right I got you. I get out the back. All right, so don't bring them babes out. I'm good. <laughs> you sure? Nah, I'm good, man. No babes. No little, and I don't need you saying nothing either. Like, you, you over here taking advantage of my friends now. My friends are buying stuff, you know. I'm, and I see DJ already was already calling people on Facetime for them. I don't know what you was doing too. So, hey, sneak preview. You know what I'm saying? Do not sleep on these, man. Yeah. Do not sleep. They don't on even these. know about that. Already busted one open and, and cleaned up the fragments. And yeah, these are legit. Like I think I could probably clean two to three pairs of Ooh, shoes with really? these, man. So shout out to crazy. shout out to Tony and shout out to Bull for this pure. And uh, it's Kais with y'all too. Yeah, yeah. Kais, Kais. Shout out to all of y'all for this, man, because you know. I much rather buy from people I know than versus hey, somebody I don't. Four sneakerheads, buy sneakerheads. So we clocking now. in, clocking out. We gonna pick up perfect. You know what I'm saying? Picked up some shoes as well. I want to say thank you once again, as always, man. Of course, man. And uh, thank you as well for selling on me. You know, selling me, selling me, <laughs> doing good, man. Hey, come down to the shop. What's the address once again? Six hundred Floyd Drive, Smyrna, Georgia, three zero zero eight. I will be leaving down below in the description the address, the IG, and all the above. We'll definitely be back more and more. I want to do more and more content with them. Possibly a pop up we've been talking about in the future as well. And we're gonna probably come through for dinner pretty soon, whenever that's ready. Back you know? at it like a motherfucker. You already know what it is. Pussy man. popping on a handstand. Y'all been asking for it. Man. Hey, y'all got it. You've been asking for it. You got it, man. You already know. But yo, I should have bought the shoes, man. I still got your signature on yeah, the box. Yeah, I, I was going to say, y'all got to have it up in here. Get like, you know, post we, it up in here, man. I mean, I'm going to bring it out for the pop. And then that'd be something that, like, you know, you can't sell. But, guys, I hope you guys appreciated episode two of Triple R Resellers, Retailers, and Road Trips. Check out the store. Check out the Instagram. Everything is linked down below in the description. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. I'm out, man. Come shop, but don't let Pops talk you into buying too much, man.